Welcome back to numero 8, that is number 8 in Italian for the number 8 of the video tutorial series of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio, of course. And today we're gonna do a quick one. So basically what we're gonna do is some movement with our keyboard, easy peasy stuff. And because you can actually do something like this, so you can animate this guy. And of course, at the bottom you have those feet which are separate sprites so we're gonna do this very very quickly in game maker studio so stay tuned this is one up indie i am a programmer and if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider subscribing sharing and liking my stuff so here we go let's go and dive into our project where are we where are we uh, hotline tone so what we did last time and i did updated it so here the level is looking a little bit neater so we are uh, let's get rid of that stuff so this is definitely looking much more nicer so here storage area shopping area the bathroom and i guess the pool area so basically just pimping up <laughs> a little bit the graphics so let's go into our object player which we designed last time and we're gonna stay in in here so basically here what we just did very quickly we uh, can rotate it to our um, image angle so basically we are just rotating the guy depending where our mouse is and then it's animating or not animating if we are moving all right this is easy peasy stuff so the next thing what we can actually do is do some movement so we need some inputs for that and basically what we can do we just create a few variables so one is called left and then we say hey keyboard uh, keyboard and then check and then we need to input what kind of key we want to do we have of course the VK let's say left or whatever but we want to use the WASD movement and for that we need to go RRD and then input this virtual key so we can just copy paste that stuff because hey let's make that a quick one boom left right up and down and for that we need now a little check so we're just saying like hey we want to move in a very specific direction so we just say like hey let's go right minus left and here we can define because these things are giving back zero or one so for example here this could be um, let's say one or zero and this could be one and zero so we are uh, having a value between minus one or zero or one so these are the the only things which we can have and therefore we can store that actually in a variable why we do this well because we want to use it with something else so we just say like hey store this value which can be between mean between minus one uh, zero and one into this speed value so horizontal speed and this one we're going to use for updating our x position so x plus is equals the horizontal speed and of course this could be already sufficient and we can do this for the uh, vertical speed also so here once again a nice oh, where are you we just say like hey the vertical speed and then of course we say like hey the y value is getting updated by the vertical speed and for example once we start it this already works so this is the good part. Oh, come on, come on, come on, start it. And as you can see, now I can actually move my guy, which is pretty sweet. So this is definitely good. So this is definitely working, but let's say mm, not good enough for us. And therefore I will just introduce then another variable in our create event, which we haven't. And we just call it our walk speed because here we can actually define and just set up our guy every time in our uh, every time he's getting loaded so let's go for i don't know a value what kind of value did i use yeah let's go for a value of two and then we just multiply it by here and therefore we adjust it and for example here we can change the walk speed if we're walking on ice or whatever but here of course the game doesn't have that but still you could apply and change this variable and then everything is getting applied equally because here this can be just minus one zero or 
one. So here this does work. But for example, we are hitting now a little problem. I guess you saw that. That we are not animating. So here. Uh, why are we not animating? Because we kind of uh, <laughs> cancelled the animation. So let's put that at the bottom. And let's check it out again. And now this should work. Because this is cancelling this out. As you can see. We are walking and this already is looking pretty sweet. So five minutes in and we already did more than half what we wanted. Sweet. Now, the next thing which I wanted to introduce is that we want to have a separate animation because now we are just using the sprites. So where are you gameplay of this dude walking? But we want at the bottom to have our feet and we want them to be separated. Oh. Let's import them very quickly. Uh, 54 by 54. Here we go. Because this was a strip, we didn't we not we don't want that. Of course, align middle center. Boom. This one is middle center also. Yes. So this is working then correctly. So what do we do? Well, we just have a draw event in our object player, and now we are overwriting ourselves. But we say like, hey draw sprite then x yeah let's go for this one yeah, this is good enough and then we are saying like hey we want to use our feet and input that here boom and then of course the image index so this is the thing which we are using for our uh, own animation anyway and then what else do we need come on this is wrong oh, okay locked here you go and then of course x y because we are having this on the same position and then the scale so image x scale so basically if you would be scaling it up we would do this correctly also with um, the feed below and then rotation image angle as you can see oh, everything is green so basically these are the properties which are being stored from here and used from here so here we are basically doing the same stuff and then of course uh, image blend if you want to recolor it then alpha image alpha here we go and then this long thing is working and now of course now we are just having the feed which we don't want so therefore we say like hey draw self but we want to draw ourselves above the feet so therefore we have to do this after we are drawing our feet so let's go and now you will see that both things work in unison and boom we are walking and of course as you can see the feet are there but they are not for example if you're standing still we don't want this so therefore we need to kind of uh, make a few things to make this happen so therefore i introduce the last variable for today which is called a walk timer which we set to zero and in our step event where for example we did our animation so for example if we're animating or not we just add a few things so folks first of all the um, walk timer is getting um, added by one every time for example we are animating so for example here this just means say uh, walk speed one so we can uh, the image speed is one so basically we are just animating all the time and then we update this thing and for example if you say like all right so every time this value is quite high so let's let's say it's higher than five we are drawing our feet which is great but for now of course uh, this would be all the time so therefore we just say like mm. but for example if we are standing still let's reset this to a value of zero and then we're pretty much finished so here this is linking everything together so as you can see i'm walking and boom the feet are gone but for example if i'm walking the feet are there of course if you do this very tightly you won't be seeing the feet but the rest of the body is animating this is the great part so let's see tv this stuff and of course we can go through everything because we haven't set up any collisions so that was it for today so once again we just do, did some animation control so this is definitely looking better and of course this is not good 
and diagonal movement this is like the good one we will adapt it later on but for now this is sufficient because if you let's say press up and uh, left you're moving faster than you should be so therefore um, we need to adapt that in another video but we are finished for today and hopefully you learn something see you tomorrow and then this will be the last video for this year so have a good one one up indeed